So with each passing moment, you make yourself more of my servant. We know who said that, right? Do we know when? Do you know the answer at home? Go, go, go! Show off in front of you. Yeah, this is uh, this is Emperor from Jedi. Pretty sure that's correct. Now, when I was a kid watching Jedi at the movie theater, I I think I walked. I didn't walk out on this part. I walked out on the uh, the uh, the revealing of Vader under the mask because that kind of scared me as as a little tyke. Um, that's that's a story. I, I really, you know, it's 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 not a great story. It's it's just a story. What did the uh, Trillium try try? Uh, but this was the the nifty like uh, Imperial ship that you first see in Jedi. I don't know what the name of the ship is called. Uh, it's kind of cool. They bring it back with the 90, uh, 97 revisions or special editions, if you want to call them that. Uh, but it, it really appeared in Jedi. That's where it belongs. That's where you should see it for the first time, not anywhere else. But nonetheless, what did they transmit? Well, they had to transmit a, uh, an old Imperial code. And the, the little bit of drama was, will the code work or not? But that also goes to the plan that the Emperor might have had and expecting the team to go to Endor regardless. Because the uh, Vader walks behind the Imperial officer who was, you know, I was, it's an old code, but I was going to let them go. And, 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 and Vader pauses for a bit and then, then they let them go. Now Luke's on board the and he's like, I'm endangering this mission. Vader knows I'm here. And Han's like, well, relax, kid. It's blah, 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 blah. So that's, that, was a, that was a little beat. That was your little drama right there um, in that uh, Imperial shuttle. It was, it was just called an Imperial shuttle, right? I, I'm sure it has like a whole particular name or, or, or number attached to it. Oh, wow, I like this question. How many guards push the carbonite slab into Boba's ship. Oh, wow. Hmm. I'm going to say three. Two on the side and one behind. And I can't remember if Boba Fett's in front or behind. I feel like Boba Fett's behind because they're moving... The slab, and then you need Boba Fett behind to fire at Luke when Luke gets in with R2. I think that's who Boba's firing on. And since Boba Fett came up, this is a great joke. So it's 2022 and I'm doing this. It's October, and baseball season has ended. But I got to tell you, um, uh, my wife and I like watching the, the Blue Jays play, and uh, there's a player named Boba Shett. Sorry, his name is his his, his Bo Bichette. So his first name is Bo. Uh, but we call him Boba because it sounds too much like Boba Fett. So that's why we started watching Blue, Ga Blue Jays games because, look, it's, it's Bo Bichette. I don't even know where his first and last name begins or ends, but they, they've never referred to him as anything but Bo Bichette. Um, so I always think it's, it's Boba Fett. Bichette is the last name, but come on now. We, we know he's popular because everybody's calling him Boba Fett. People must be calling him Boba Fett. I don't know. I don't follow any... I just watch the seven-minute baseball recaps on the MLB app. I don't watch any other sports news. I have no idea what's going on. I just like the seven, eight-minute game so I can just zone out and watch what's going on. But Boba Fett is hilarious. Now, he, he seems like a good guy. He's a real good player. Uh, he's, he's a star player. Uh, but but man, come on! People need to be making the, that Boba Fett reference. It, it's just it, it's, he's just open for it. Where did Han plan to meet his Endor strike team at 0300? Hmm. I don't know. I do not know this one. You got me on this one. Now, nah, I, I'm not. I'm not even. Nothing's ringing a bell. I don't know if the strike team meets him at the uh, 
the entrance to the the back door to the big satellite dish which is what's the satellite dish supposed to be like a shield generator so does he meet the strike team at the shield generator back door so they can go inside and hack in and, and is, is that how this works that's the only thing that comes to mind and this is the scene where they're still on some rebel base and they're getting ready to go and, and that's when he talks to Lando Lando takes the Falcon Han leads the team and, and, Boy, we're just bouncing around all kinds of movies here today. So I was in Jedi Land, and now we're back to Star Wars. Because that's what the name of the first movie is. Okay. Um, I'm just going to call it Star Wars, Star Wars. Uh, a restrainer bolt, right? A little bolt. You need it to crook, crook, crook that off, and then the messages go, and then, then, you, then you have your message. All right. Restraining bolt. Restrainer bolt. It's restraining, maybe. Okay. What type of stew did Yoda prepare for Luke? The stew was given a name? Wow. I don't know. I, I don't know what was in the stew. Was it... Um, maybe it was just tofu. You think that Yoda made his own tofu? Uh, it, from the swamp? What, what, did, what did Yoda eat? Yoda was not farming in Dagobah, so maybe he was just fishing. How much food does Yoda need being that tiny? Um, or that old, you know? Hmm. I've never wanted to explore how Yoda spent his 25 years on Dagobah just hanging out. All right, answer time. Do you remember the questions? I don't remember the questions. So the Emperor. This was a question about um, every moment of the day, you will be more and more. With each passing moment, you will make yourself more of my servant. That was the Emperor. Clearance code. This was the ship's name. I don't think I used the term clearance code. I can't remember what I said. I, sm I might have said access code. Two. Okay, this was uh, who, who was who was uh, doing Boba Fett. I said three, but it was just, so I think we had um, two on the sides maybe, and Boba Fett from behind. Well, someone was dragging that with a remote, right? So maybe it was just one in front and one behind, and then Boba's behind, and there we go. So it's two. All right. Shield generator. I kind of got this right. I didn't think. See, I almost gave up on this question, but I, I, I walked it back and said, well, let me think about this. So it's a shield generator. All right. Nug, nug. And the restraining bolt. All, oh. Oh, we had more. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, root leaf. So, so I'm back now thinking about Yoda on Dagobah. So, he had a, uh, a regular diet of root leaf. So, so he was a vegetarian overall. He made his root leaf soup. Well, good for uh, good for Yoda on the planet. He could have had all kinds of frogs and critters in his stew, but he he knew that the root f roof roof leaf. Well, maybe he put some root leaf on the roof because you got to thatch that it if you're making your little. Oh, he lived in a cave though, right? So he wasn't constructing his building. You know what? I think it's time for for D plus to do Yoda on Dagobah series, and it could it could you could you could run it like a uh, run it like someone's YouTube video. So Yoda could have like his daily journal about making root leaf, or making sure that he put enough um, uh, mud on the top of his hut so the rain wouldn't come in, or you know how how Yoda's decorating. You know, maybe tips on how best to live in the hut with in, in the swamp. Uh, what advice can Yoda give us to prevent mosquitoes from, from, from coming in because you're living in a swamp? And all kinds of swamp-related questions. And I think Yoda just doing that, someone would watch that, unfortunately. 
Well, I'm feeling kind of tired. I've been putting off a little bit of my work today. So that is card 129 of our f friendly, funny, Trivial Pursuit Star Wars Classic Edition. Um, there you go. So uh, have, have fun at home at your own pace and, and enjoying, enjoying your cards as well. Ah. <sighs>